Hey, it's Marty, and welcome to Java via C++ with Quinnit. So as always, with any language comparison, it's there is no real best language in programming. It really all depends on your use. And what kind of job you're trying to get done here. Like, if you're trying to want to go for speed efficient, Java just might not be the language you want to go with. So number one is efficiency. C++ is one of the most efficient programming languages that there is. Whereas Java runs in a virtual machine. So this means that it's unlike C++ where C++ is really close to hardware and stuff like that. Java is kind of like an extra window which or an extra subsystem which is what makes it so compatible. Your Java code is going to be the same across Linux. Mac and Windows. C++ that you can compile it for each operating system thus offering higher efficiency but sometimes porting some games that are pretty well finished out on Windows porting that over to Linux can be a pretty daunting task. So each C++ program gets compiled na natively for each for each operating system so it can run faster and take advantage of each architecture but because of that it's sometimes like I said it's a bit difficult to port it over to Linux and Mac. Especially with the libraries, that's the really that's the one thing that I really enjoy about Java. The libraries are the same across every platform. After doing all my C++ on um, Windows, when I went over to Linux, the first thing that really hit me was not having the Windows the Windows.h library. That that was really nasty for the first little bit there. And the Kernel.h library, you, I also didn't have that one available. Kernel actually does come with. Linux, except there's some features of Conio that you're not going to have on Linux VS on Windows. Yeah, so some of those features I've become sort of dependent on, such as Getch, stuff like that. So you kind of got to work around it. Instead of using Getch, you'd use send.get, just so that you got to use user input. Same thing as Getch. But whereas with Java, it's the same. You're not going to be missing any libraries. So like the libraries, they even the libraries run across all platforms? Yeah, or? the same libraries are everywhere. It's, you don't have to replace any libraries or anything like that or try and work around it. But there might be a few exceptions to that because if you incorporate DirectX with Java, you that of course won't be able to run on something like Linux. No, of course not because DirectX is a purely Windows feature. DirectX has kind of always been a feature of Microsoft's it's always been a, a ploy just to get people to upgrade to the newer system. The oh, new Windows 10, DirectX 12 pops right now out right after it. It's a cheap trick to always get people upgrading to Windows. Opposing side to DirectX is OpenGL, which is available on every platform. Is the one thing that that really sucks about Java is that you are going to be finding it's going to be running at least twice as much code to do the same thing as if you're doing it in C++. That's one of the things I found when I started with Java was just how many lines, extra lines you have to do. Like, Well, with C++ there, it does that definitely takes longer to learn C++ via Java because there's a t you have a ton of whole more granular control over your hardware. For example, pointers, now there are pointers in Java, but you can't use them quite the same way. You don't have the same amount of control. There's just so many things to take into account for C++, like memory management. Because of that, it's kind of a plus and a negative at the same time. It takes a while to learn the full language of C++. I mean, like they say, nobody has truly learned the full features of C++ yet. But Jordan strutting up, however you say his name, the creator of C++ anyways, was saying that we're using C++ wrong now. But in my opinion, if the code works, that's all that counts. Now Java is written in a way that what happens is that it gets interpreted, so you save it, it gets interpreted into semi-machine code. So it's a bit difficult for you to understand, but the a bit easier for the machine to understand. But it's not quite yet machine code. So then what happens is that from there, when you actually run the program, then everything, you, you double click on the program, that's when everything gets compiled into machine code. So from there, that's why sometimes it takes a little bit long to, to get Java actually going. And after that, it's pretty fast from that. Whereas C++, it's compiled after you save it, you compile it, and then from there, you just double click on it. It's fast, always reliable. And I just noticed I have quite a collection of grubbies on my glasses. The biggest thing about Java and C++, if you're doing Java, you're definitely going to want uh, an IDE, like NetBeans or Eclipse, something like that, because that really helps you, especially when you're first starting. Whereas with C++, I've kind of, I've moved into just using, using something like a basic text editor or Vim on Linux, and then just using the Linux terminal to compile it. So Java, it's more of a it's more of a pre-made experience. Like it, you don't have quite the same granular control with C++. Like there's not quite as many options, but it's also easy. 
sort of like Python. It's like a step up from Python, faster than Python, can do more than Python, but it's the same concept. And that's because Python is interpreted as you go, which is actually, if you think about it, that's not a very good idea. So, for example, if you have a line of code that prints out Hello World five times, now it compiles as it runs a line of code, so it's a no-brainer that that's going to run extremely slow because it's trying to compile at the same time it's running. I personally don't know why Python does that. I don't really understand the philosophy there. But Java, on the other hand, it all gets compiled when you run the program before you're actually running it. So that's a, that's an upgrade there. Java has gained popularity just because a 1,000 line coding project, right? If you're doing it in something like C++, well, that's 1,000 lines suddenly becomes around 2,000 lines in Java. So the bosses love it. <laughs> so it makes it look like if you're doing more work. And the truth is, you're doing more typing but to get the same thing done that you could do in something like C++. Not counting web applications. Trying to do web applications C++ would be a nightmare. Definitely safe to say that. Now, that doesn't mean creating multiplayer games in C++ isn't a bad idea. That's definitely, multiplayer games, no problem, but direct web applications for C++ is not recommended to say the least. Now the actual the amount of people using Java over C++ there, Java is a more popular language. You can see here on the chart, this is a server I created by Stack Overflow in 2017. I mean, this isn't everybody programming, just everybody on Stack Overflow. So Java is number three on the list. That's pretty high up there, where C++ is, uh, what's that? Two, three, four, five, all the way down on eight on the list. So one of the things, especially when you're starting out, and if you don't know a whole lot about programming languages, the one thing that you want, want to know is that JavaScript, Java, J Node.js, stuff like that, all those languages are completely different. So if you're learning one, you're not learning them all, and they're not really, they're not the same. So C++ is a very low level language. What C++ compiles down to is assembly, and from there, assembly gives the actual constructions into the processor. So you got really fine control over the processor. And like there, you can see that the processor is at the very bottom there. And then right after the processor, you have assembly, and then after that, you have C. C dash C++. C++ was originally just supposed to be an extended library of C, but it's kind of morphed into its own language, like, kind of like a set of twins, or one that has some extra freckles, so. And Java, on the other hand, Java is actually written in C slash C++. One version of Java, I forget what it is, is written in C, and the other, there's a different one, written in C++. So, from there you can see that's definitely way further up from the compiler. Now, on top of that, you also have the virtual machine which Java was, Java's codes runs on. It's quite a ways away from the processor, thus giving it less performance and less efficiency, but higher compatibility. Because the virtual machine, machine part of the Java, of running a Java program is what enables it to be multi-platform, so it's the same across every platform. You're so in conclusion, C++ is the number one programming language currently for games. Game engines such as Unity, Blender, Unreal, they're all written in C++ because C++ is incredibly fast. Now, the reason why Java is and JavaScript and all of them are so popular is because they're mainly used in web applications. When you see games like um, websites that host games like Miniclip, websites like that, most of those games are read, written in Java. And also, Google pushes Java highly as the official language of the Android. So. Java is a great language to program apps, like small games for the phone, stuff like that. Stuff that you want to run across any platform. For smaller projects, definitely a solid option there. I definitely wouldn't be doing no one million line of code game with Java. That would be a slug. Now, this doesn't mean you can't make 3D games with Java. There actually are a ton of 3D games that are made with Java that actually perform reasonably well. So, but the more advanced you go, the more advanced language you're probably going to want. Where it, so if you're planning on making the next World of Warcraft or Call of Duty, I don't know, I don't really keep up with the new Call of Duty series, C++ would definitely be a better option for that. And last but not least, the most important aspect of any programming language, the name. C++, whoa. I mean, Java, what is this? Is it just Java? There's no plus plot, no, not even one plus. Definitely gotta give points to C++ for that. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. So thanks for watching, I'm subscribing, I'll be seeing you next video. It's your Marty out. Later.